what's up guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and I haven't brought you a video in about a week. It's been a roller coaster ride. Uh, I had my tooth pulled, uh, my video card on my computer died while I was playing Battlefield 3, and uh, my grandpa died this week, so, you know, I, things have been fucked up. I got a new video card, uh, you know, things are taken care of with the family. Uh, my family's pretty nuts, so I'm not even going to go into that, but uh, everybody has a pretty crazy family, but... This right here is something different. It's another game made by Projector Games. It's called Steam Heroes. It's uh, like a it's like a puzzle RPG adventure mode. It also has like a cool multiplayer mode. It's only 240 Microsoft points. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, you know, DJ Arcus had a really good idea. And he wanted to share with the community. You guys all said to him, you know, you guys want axes. Everybody wants cool little, like, you know, fancy axes, like the Wiki Axe, or the uh, Storm Staff, or you have the uh, Tech Axe, and, you know, it's not really, uh, hasn't really been available for the public yet that, uh, you know, that you can actually get one of these special items outside of the Legendary Axe, which, you know, the Engine Axe, whatever you want to call it, that you can actually earn by getting, you know, a really large amount of votes on. I'm not going to tell you guys how many amount of votes are that you need for it. Uh, a lot of you guys know already, but I'm not going to spread that around because, you know, it only entices boosters to, you know, pretty much want to have a goal to set for it and keep going for it. But outside of that, this is Steam Heroes. Like I said, it's kind of like, you know, it looks like Bejeweled on steroids, but it also has, like, awesome little, uh, you know, different things. If you watch the meters on the side, you know, you got to keep refilling those meters, you know, that way, you know, instead of just uh, busting random blocks, it gives you objectives to bust, you know, certain color blocks to keep uh, your steam pressure up, your steam pressure low, or where, wherever have you. That way, you know, you deal more damage to the enemy. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. Each enemy has like its own special, uh, you know, its own special ability. Some enemies, you know, freeze the whole board. Some distract you. Some put like this, like smoke screen all over the the, the thing, so you can't see. And then you gotta move the cursor around to blow the smoke away. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Uh, even my girlfriend's been getting into it. She's a big puzzle fan. She loves things like uh, you know, Puzzle Quest. Uh, you know, uh, what is this? Uh, there's another game. It's called uh, From Cradle to the Room, something like that. It's uh, on the DS. She loves all these type of games, and, you know, we've been rocking ass on this the last few days, and it's a lot of fun. But the, the thing I wanted to say is that, uh, you know, if you buy this game, you get this, you get a special axe, and I'm gonna, uh, at the end, I'm gonna show you a tentative. It's subject to change. It's kind of might what the axe is gonna look like. Uh, right now, it's gonna kind of be like steampunky. I don't know if you guys know what steampunk is, but it's like you know, kind of like olden days mixed with modern technology. It's, it, it's cool stuff, but uh, it's gonna be red with some gold accents. There might be like some pistons and some cogs laying around, uh, something real mechanical looking. But it's also based off the tech axe, so it also has like you know, some of the same basic designs and. It's basically a special axe that everybody can earn for being a projector game faithful. And as you can see, I mean, this game has wonderful graphics. It's uh, really fun to play. And you'll see with one of the uh, special abilities that the uh, people get that, I mean, it's really drawn well. Oh, you can see it right here. Look at that. Wow. That, doesn't that remind you of like a Marvel vs. Capcom type deal? I mean... It's just awesome. I mean, I love the uh, old school 2D cell, ah, cell shaded graphics. It's just something that, you know, I grew up loving Street Fighter. I used to rock ass on Street Fighter inside the uh, arcades. And to see, like, you know, a game like this for only three bucks, this game would have been, like, you know, game of the year back in, like, 95 for Super Nintendo, uh, PlayStation 1. It's just, it's that amazing. It's really cool. I, you know, I urge you guys to check it out because not only do you get the axe with it, but you get a great game. And this game also has, like, online multiplayer. There's some leaderboards. And, uh, I mean, so far, there's, a, like, a nice bit of people playing it. I've seen some people uh, on the Fortress Craft forums. I posted this up when uh, Arcus, you know, you know, made the uh, announcement. But look at this. Look how awesome and, like, intense that this game gets. But 
now that I'm done, <laughs> I love this animation. It's the only reason I picked that animation is because I actually love that animation. But there's uh, two other super chains that you can do, but I don't ever use them because I love the blue one. But anyway, like I said, there's been some changes. Uh, I actually recently got partnered by TGN, which is, uh, you know, they're kind of like a new upstart uh, gaming network. They have about 50,000 subscribers right now. They've been, uh, you know, partnering people for about five months now. They're, uh, you know, putting up, like, over 11 million views right now. So it, it's awesome. Uh, I'd like to thank, you know, George at TGN for, you know, reaching out and, you know, grabbing hold of my channel and pulling me in, showing me some love, and that's awesome. If you get a chance, you know, check out www.youtube.com slash TGN and you'll see my new video. It's on the main page. It's featured there. It's my introduction to everybody. So I'd like to thank everybody of my subscribers that, you know, that supported me throughout this way because it's awesome. Uh, I'm over 3,000 subscribers now. We're going for 5,000. Fuck 4,000 because we're going to blow right past that. So, you know. I still got that 1,600 Microsoft points from the lawnmower video to give out. I'm going to give that out this week, guaranteed. Uh, I have the cards sitting right here. I just, like I said, I had a really fucked up week. Everything, you know, got shot out. But, you know, thanks to everybody, you know. I got a lot of good messages from you guys when you seen that I posted up on my Twitter and, you know, that I was having a rough time. So thanks to everybody there. And... You know, I'm going to end this video with a picture of a, a subject to change of what the axe might look like. So, you know, it's Jay, more than after kill. Rate, comment, subscribe, favorite this video. That way everybody can know that you can have an axe in Fortress Craft just for buying an awesome game. So, you know, I'll see you guys on Steam Heroes. I'm going to be playing it and the Battlefield 3 beta. So, I'll catch you guys later.